what's going on everyone welcome back to Brion with jesse glad to have you back we have a special episode for you guys tonight tonight we're gonna be talking about and drinking modern times latest can release is their a tech frequency is an ipa brewed with apricots and guava and it comes in at 7 percent alcohol now i'm just gonna do a short video on it it's a very special beer, actually. <coughs> a very special beer. Um, apparently, it was only available through the brown paper... What is it? Brown paper tickets website? Ah, I'm probably missing the word there. PPT, right? It's available through that. Uh, so pretty much, you go on the website at you know, whatever date and time, modern times decided post it so you want the website well i mean you can't do that anymore you know it was a uh, they, they they sold pretty quick so yeah quick thing about this beer you go on the website you pay for the beer in advance and they give you a week to pick it up you know to ensure freshness which is a great idea um now the special thing about this beer is it is actually not gonna be distributed they're not gonna distribute this beer so it's not gonna be available in stores. It was only available through modern times through the brown paper tickets that one time. That was it. So these are all gone. I mean, they sold out. I'm pretty sure they sold out within minutes. I'd be surprised if they didn't. Uh, so my brother Hector, which by the way, thank you, Hector. He was able to uh, get some. He was able to get some, and now I have one sitting here and ready to be drank. So yeah, I'm very excited. It's supposed to be like a really juicy IPA. Uh, and uh, oh, oh, by the way, I just realized something. My fingers are all white. <laughs> we're uh, painting, spray painting. <laughs> nah, we're doing graffiti. Nothing illegal. You know, we're, <laughs> we're painting some stuff, you know, at work. And uh, so yeah, <laughs> my fingers are probably really dirty right now. It's just spray paint, guys. It's just fucking spray paint. Um, <laughs> so yeah, let's check this out. Let's pop this open, pour it into a glass. Uh I guess I'll review it, right? Fuck it, I'll do a quick little review. Enjoy it. And then go get some sleep, because I have work tomorrow. So let's check this out guys. Now this was canned. Uh already put it was canned on Wow. Really? August 10th? Alright, cool. I guess, you know, they did want to ensure freshness. So, Hector, thank you for purchasing this and driving to San Diego to pick it up, man. I appreciate it. Always. Uh, let's pour this, guys. Let's fucking pour this. Once again, Modern Times Attack Frequency. 7% alcohol. IPA brewed with apricots and guayabas. Guavas, I guess, right? Let's pour this into this badass, uh, Tulip here, Smart City. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, shit. <laughs> Look at this color, guys. Cloudy. You can't even see through it. I can't see the light behind this. Oh, fuck. You know, this, this almost reminds me of a, like, agua fresca, you know, like a, like a water, a, a guava. Water. Sounds kind of weird when I say it in English. I don't know what's weird about it. You know, in Spanish, is agua fresca, right? Agua de, de guayaba. Um, which is fucking great, by the way. Fucking great. So this is what pretty much that would look like. Really just thick. Can't see through it. Oh, that's a badass looking beer. That's a fucking badass looking beer. Uh, I really hope... Oh, man, look at this shit. Fucking smudges everywhere. <laughs> I really hope you guys can enjoy that color there, man. That fucking looks badass. <sighs> like a cloudy fucking golden color to it. No head. Oh, really thin head. Uh, that's a great looking beer. That's a great looking beer. Uh, let's go ahead and stick with, man. I'm so excited when Nick said he got this. I was so fucking excited about it. Um, Cool man, let's check this out. Let's, let's uh, 
te puedo decir. Ay, oh, yeah. Ah, oh, that's that smells fucking good. That smells really good. It smells fruity. It smells really fruity. I get the guava. I'm getting it's not it's not like a strong fucking guava attack, but I'm getting the guava and the aroma. <sighs> Fuck yeah. I'm getting some of the hops off of this as well. <clears throat> um I'm not getting much of the apricot in the smell. Uh could it just be me? You know, I don't know. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and taste it and see if I can get it in the taste. See what I get in the taste. Wow, that smells really good. Yeah, so so apparently everybody's releasing, you know, juicy IPAs, really cloudy, fucking, you know, thick fucking IPAs. That's what's been that's what's being released right now by a lot of breweries, which is cool, you know, I guess. You know, it's an IPA, man. Let's just fucking drink it, you know? Um, I mean, it looks cool. It looks badass. It looks badass. I mean, it's different from what we're used to, right? <laughs> They're usually, you know, a lot more clearer, a lot cleaner color to them. But this just looks badass, too. Uh, great color, great aroma. Let's taste it, guys. Salud. Uh, I love guayabas. I love guayabas. I love guayaba water or juice, I guess, you could, right? Guayaba, guayaba juice? I guess. Because it's not orange water, it's orange juice. And it's apple juice. So technically, it will be guayaba juice. Guayaba juice. I guess. <laughs> I guess. All right, fuck it. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh fuck, this is good. Fuck. Oh, that's fucking really good. <laughs> now it could just be that I'm fucking tired right now. I'm tired and sleepy. And I've been needing a beer all day. It was a long day I work today. Uh you know. So this is really hitting the spot right now. And it's fucking good. Fuck. Okay, cool. So check this out. <clears throat> I'm getting a nice hoppy bitterness up front. Once you take a sip, the, the bitterness from the hops kind of gets you. Gets, uh, oh yeah, it gets you. It gets you right up front. Immediately followed by the fucking guava. I, I get it. I get it a lot more in the taste than I did in the aroma. Um, oh, fuck. Are you serious? This is a really good. Thanks, Hector. This is a really good fucking beer, man. Tech frequency. <clears throat> you know, obviously they change. You see the cans and bottles, right? Excuse me. Oh, usually they like a white background with like, you know, colored lines and stuff. So, you know, this time they went. And put some, what color is this? Turquoise? Right? I guess. Like a bluish, greenish color. You know, with the black stuff on the bottom. Uh, it looks badass. It doesn't, it doesn't even uh, look like a Modern Times can, you know? Because, well, personally, I'm used to seeing just white with colored lines across it. So it's different. Not just the can, it's not just the can itself, but the beer. I mean, look at this. Look at it, it's cloudy as fuck. Really thick beer. Thick in color. It's a, about a medium, I would say it's a medium bodied beer. Really well balanced. It's leaving behind a nice, warm, and dry sensation. And I'm getting the guayaba, I'm getting the guava a lot more now. Are you serious? Ugh. 
an egg, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna have to have egg around here. Pretty soon, actually. I'm gonna have to have a around here again. Maybe do another Q&A or just like a beer review. You have to come back on here, man. You know, I, I have that in the books, by the way. Have him on here. A couple other people that I want to have on the show. Uh, so keep an eye out for those episodes coming up. Uh, pretty soon, within a month, maybe. Maybe, you know, kind of kind of busy right now, but maybe, hopefully, within the month. Oh, shit. It warmed up a little bit. It's not, like, warm, not fucking hot, but it's warming up a little bit. I'm getting some of the apricot on this, in this. In this. What? I'm getting some of the apricot in this. Oh, it's like a little, like a little aftertaste, you know, like a little, uh, it's kind of, it's bitter, it's a bitter aftertaste, and I, oh, fuck, you guys have to try this, it's really, I mean, it's not hard to describe, it's just fucking, it's so much, it's good, so much good stuff, um, you get the apricot a lot more in the aftertaste, I, I'm getting the, a lot more in the aftertaste, um, it's present, so is the guava, which I'm a big fan of. Not just, you know, the beer, but in general, the fruit. It's a fucking really good fruit. I prefer the pink ones over the white ones. For some fucking dumbass reason. They're both good. <laughs> but yeah, whatever. I, I always like those a lot better. I like the pink one. <laughs> that sounded fucking weird. <laughs> that sounded fucking weird. It's the heat, guys. The fucking heat. Oh. The guava got a lot stronger than the aroma. Now that it's warmed up a bit. <clears throat> now that it's warmed up a bit, the guava got a lot stronger than the aroma. Fucking badass, dude. Damn. So, yeah, I mean, like I said, I just wanted to make a quick episode. It's probably like 10 minutes in already. You know, oh, well. Uh, quick little episode. I just wanted to kind of, you know, I was really excited about this beer, so I just wanted to announce it and kind of have it on here for you guys and uh, let you guys know that there's a lot more videos in the works. A lot more videos. Fuck it. Uh, <sighs> yeah, we have a couple of on location videos which we're trying to get together, but I'm not, I'm, you know. We're trying to work out the details because I don't know how that's going to work. Obviously, I don't have a fucking camera. We use, you know, Roxy's phone to do these videos. You know, so Roxy isn't present. How the fuck are we going to film him? Uh, you know, so those are the kind of things that I got to think about before going on location or whatever at, you know, certain places. I don't want to, you know, give too much away. But, uh, yeah. Oh, man. Let's get some more of this in here. So yeah, guys, I think that's going to be it for this episode. Oh, what? That was just half of it? I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed drinking this beer. Because I really did enjoy drinking drinking this beer. For Instagram, guys, for Instagram. I did it. <laughs> um, What's it called? It actually stayed. It actually stayed. <laughs> uh, first time trying this, by the way. I've never tried this. I've, you know, I've seen it being done. The first time I tried this, and actually works. It works. You know, I guess. I, I always thought they put super glue on it. Nah, that's stupid. Why would they do that? That's just stupid. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, guys, thanks again for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed it, man. I really do. I know I enjoyed this fucking beer. I, Uh, why? Why is this not available year round? I mean, I have one more can. I have one more can in the fridge, which I'm actually planning on sharing. Um. Oh fuck! I probably won't even share it. Nah, I'll share it. That's fucked up. <laughs> I'll share it with some peeps, you know. Um. Fuck! I don't even know what to say. You know, really good beer. By a fucking great brewery. Big fan of Modern Times. 
they have yet to disappoint me, and I hope they never do. Um, maybe I'll do some of their sours in the future. Um, you know, we'll see. By the way, I have two sours in the fridge. One's like a year old. The other's already like fucking five months old. You know, so uh, <laughs> keep an eye out for those reviews. They're coming, guys. They really are. Thanks for tuning in. I don't want to stop talking about this beer. It is juicy. It is juicy. Definitely fruity. Oh, fuck that fucking guava. It's right here. I fucking taste it. I can feel it. <sighs> Salud. Oh, cool. Oh, Hector, thank you, man. Fucking. By the way, this is actually a birthday present to me. Because my birthday is this month. and Well, the end of the month. So, thank you, Hector. It's a great early Christmas. I mean, the Christmas. What? <laughs> this was a great early birthday present. I fucking appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Thank you. I really want to drink. Want to try it? I was gonna chug it. But if you wanna try it, you can try it. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> I was even gonna give her any. <laughs> I was even gonna give her any. This is bomb.com, huh? Damn, look at this shit. Look at my fucking dirty ass hands are all smudging this shit up. It's good, huh? Roxy doesn't drink IPAs. You know, she's like, she likes stouts and shit, you know, porters, and like brown ales, you know, the malty stuff. But she actually liked this one. What? You like this one? Not even. That's cool. <laughs> it's Roxy approved. A little stamp. All right, guys. I gotta, go, I gotta go to work tomorrow, man. It's already midnight. <laughs> All right, guys.